Hello, I'm Sarkis, and welcome to Hook Unlimited. Today, we're going to be talking about Element, and this is the first tobacco review at Hook Unlimited. All right, guys, before we begin, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you could get the videos as I post them. Element Tobacco launched onto the Russian market in 2018, 2019. So it's a relatively brand new brand that's available on the market. It uh, was imported into the United States uh, and distributed here just uh, last year in 2020. The lines that were available at the time were the water and earth lines, both of which are dark leaves at different levels of nicotine strength. Very recently, and this was about two weeks as of the day of this shooting, Element Air was released. And some of you guys who are following me on Instagram and Facebook know that I've been testing and uh, and reviewing and, and rating uh, Element for, for the last two weeks exclusively. In fact, I have uh, made sure to dial in dozens of, of sessions experimenting on the optimal pack method and, and checking out the flavors. And I've went ahead and posted uh, descriptions of all the flavors as stories as part of the flavor picks highlight of my Instagram at Puka UNLTD. Check those out if you guys are interested about what the flavors actually are. The special thing about Element Air is that it's quite different from the element we were used to over the last year since it launched onto the United States market with the water and earth lines. Element Air is the lightest and it is a blonde leaf. It's the first line from Element that is a blonde leaf. And one of the things that I find peculiar and most special about Element Air is the flavors themselves. And as you can see, I have all 12 that are available here in the United States and they range from multiple different profiles and there's something for everyone at least all encompassing just these 12 flavors there's dessert flavors there's various fruity flavors tropical flavors interesting mashups of flavors and the executions are in my opinion some of the most impressive that i've seen out of any brand and that's i think where element has really focused uh their specialty in in fact i will go ahead and say this as someone who prides himself in mixology every single one of these flavors are objectively incredible that's the honest truth guys i am so impressed by the overall execution of each one of the flavors and if you look at the stories on my highlight reel under the flavor picks on instagram you can tell that I am genuinely enjoying these flavors. Now, of course, flavor is subjective and you may like something that I don't like or you may not like something that I do like. But regardless of that, if you just look at the way the, the masters at Element have kind of executed these flavors and the concoctions that they've come up with and the com combining of interesting different flavors to put together and create the individual uh, profiles that you see as a result of their efforts, the execution is impressive. One of which, let me give you an example, is Amazing Green, which is essentially a sour grape with kiwi, but they decided to use a green gummy bear flavor to tie the two together and it is done exceptionally well. This is something I would do if I were to create, if I wanted to create an interesting new mix. This is the kind of principles that I would be utilizing. Not so much, oh, does this sound good to me? Does this not sound good to me kind of mentality, but rather, how do I create something new and something different, but it's equally palatable where the flavors that are mixed into these mixes are balancing each other out and accentuating the positives of each flavor profile and you could find that in every one of these flavors and that's one thing that i am most impressed with element air opening up the packaging you find yourself with a matte finish plastic package with a nice lid and um, it just opens up kind of like this way uh, when the package is fresh, it comes with a seal. If you look at the label on it itself, what you see is it says Element Tobacco USA uh, from Russia with love. I think that's a cute little twist on American culture and, you know, the James Bond thing. And it's, it's, I think it's cute. It's not the first brand that's done the from Russia with love type of, um, you know, marketing but i think it's a, it's a cute way of them letting us know that hey we matter to them in america and they're excited to be here 
regardless you see this beautiful packaging with gold uh, trim and uh, the element label and underneath it says the actual flavor this particular one is i want to pronounce this correctly I, i'm not sure if i pronounce this cor correctly my eastern european and russian friends can uh, make fun of me afterwards uh, but my russian accent is pretty terrible uh, <laughs> but i believe it would be pronounced something like uh, that said um when you open the package itself you see the tobacco inside a plastic foil kind of packaging and i decided to open it in a very particular way the pouch is kind of sealed normally i decided to open it up almost surgically uh so that it lies right into the uh, box perfectly the cut that you actually see is a is a really really consistent kind of a golden brown kind of uh tone to the color of the of the tobacco itself and you see a nice even consistency and it's nice and uh, evenly distributed medium juiciness and honestly it's it's overall a very impressive cut now for the purposes of this video i'm not going to be going over the specifics of, of each flavor or anything like that uh, we, we may do follow-up videos reviewing the flavors specifically, but if you want some insight, you're welcome to check out the Instagram in the highlight reels or the highlight stories of uh, under flavor picks uh, right underneath uh, the top part of my profile bio. And you could also check out the descriptions at hookahunlimited.com, hookahunltd.com. That said, more importantly, I think we should get to how to pack Element Air. Now, this particular flavor is Terdelnik, and I really appreciate it personally. Um, more on that in the future. I would probably start with reviewing this one because, in my opinion, it's one of the most complex and unique flavors on the market today. But I have my handy-dandy and trusted uh, Apaka 5-star Goodfella bowl over here, and we're going to begin packing the bowl. The optimal pack method and density level that I found for Element Air is a semi-fluff plus underpack. You could check out that video tutorial on how to execute a proper semi-fluff and all its variations. Uh, the only thing that I'd like to uh, elaborate on is that it is an underpack. The definition of, under, of an underpack is two to three millimeters below the rim. And that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right now. To execute a proper semi-fluff uh, plus underpack, all you have to do is load up your tobacco at a fluffed state, just a tiny bit above the rim. And the first thing you want to do is achieve a is achieve a fluff pack, a semi fluff pack first. Once you get to the point of a semi fluff pack, uh, what you, all you got to do is just press it down just a tad bit more, so it lands at about two millimeters to three millimeters below the rim, and this is what it should look like. To repeat myself because I'd like to stress on the execution of the pack as well as possible. Again, you're going to execute a semi-fluff because it's an under pack about two or three millimeters below the rim. You're going to go ahead and execute a semi-fluff pack and then dabbing it gently and all around two to three millimeters below the rim will automatically get it to a semi-fluff plus at an under pack, which is the optimal for this. And the best uh, way to smoke an element air from what I've experienced so far uh, with this pack is of course Lotus Plus Azuris which is the blue one and just pop that on, to on top of it and you want to start with either four coals or two with the lid on it and go from there. I would recommend either or both methods work perfectly fine for element air. But if you were going to execute it and you want to be a little more, a bit more lazy with your kind of heat management, I would go for four coals uh, where you would put two coals at the center with two leaning on the, on the rim of the, of the lotus and the two coals on the inside on both sides. It, in the beginning of the session, the first hour, it takes heat pretty well. And what I've experienced so far, guys, is the fact that the second half of the session gets more and more temperamental. Um, especially starting around the 45 minute mark, 40 minute mark, and going into the, towards the end of the session. Uh, when you pack it this way, you could expect two hours to two and a half hour sessions, depending on the flavor that you're smoking. They vary a tiny bit in terms of performance. 
And the important thing regarding session longevity, if you guys don't know, is the fact that whether you choose to smoke an hour, whether you choose to smoke 40 minutes, whether you choose to smoke an hour and a half, the longer a brand of tobacco lasts, the better return it is for you because the first hour is going to be that much better. For example, if you have a tobacco brand that only lasts about an hour and a half, only the first 40 minutes are going to be good. But a tobacco that can last two hours, the first 40 minutes are going to be incredible. In fact, the first hour and 15 hour and a half are going to be far better than a tobacco that can only last an hour and a half. All right, guys, now it's time for that part of the video where I will be rating Element Air. And uh, being at my first uh, tobacco review at Hookah Unlimited on YouTube, uh, we're going to take a different approach from how we do uh, bowl and, uh, and hookah reviews that we've done in the past. Uh, for tobacco review, we're going to be focusing on a star system instead of a number system. The star system is going to be uh, based on five stars total, and we're going to go in increments of half a star. Um, also, the categories we're going to be rating flavor and tobacco uh, for is going to be uh, flavor accuracy, flavor perseverance, uh, cloud output, uh, overall tobacco quality, and overall session quality. So five categories to rate, and we're going to get started right now. First and foremost, flavor accuracy. I think Element has done an incredible job here. Uh, you know, it's not easy to make something consistently where each one of your flavors reflect a beautiful natural finish and, and, and tone to, the, to each flavor profile where it's bursting in flavor, but at the same time, it doesn't feel like they're trying too hard. It doesn't feel, you know, artificial at all. Everything, all of the flavors here uh, that are available on the American market, the 12 of them are all natural and they all taste incredible in their own ways, of course. Um, Going into flavor perseverance, uh, how we rate this is based on a 65% uh, uh, you know, system where we want to see how long it takes for the flavor to diminish up to 65% of its peak flavor potential. So wherever it was at its most, you take that down and note where it diminishes to 65% of its peak. Uh, and with Element Air, we see that going to about an hour 45 to two hours before it gets past the 65%. Special thing about Element Air is that it's got a natural sweetness in the undertone, which carries the session a little bit longer than uh, going into the two hour, two hour 15 plus uh, uh, territory. I, uh, I, think, I think that's pretty exceptional for a blonde leaf. Um, in addition, uh, we're gonna be going over cloud output and I'm gonna show you right here and now what Element Air is actually capable of. And that itself is also very, very, very impressive. Clouds come nice and easy, dense and fluffy. So to go over and recap so far, we have a flavor accuracy, we're gonna give 4.5 out of five stars. Flavor preservation, we're gonna be giving four out of five stars. Cloud output is a solid 4.5 out of five stars. And uh, going on to um, tobacco quality, as you saw that the, toba the tobacco was nice and moist and evenly dispersed juices, medium juiciness, a nice even semi-fine cut all around, very easy to work with, nice and soft leaves at a golden brownish kind of tone, maybe with a tinge of, of, of red uh, in it. Uh, and uh, overall, uh, the, the quality is very, very high. Uh, you do get some, get into some, a little bit of problems with uh, the flavor diminishing very quickly as it gets closer to its peak uh, time uh, where it starts dying out. But uh, with a semi-fluff plus underpack, you're gonna get the most out of your, uh, your session and you're gonna limit and reduce that as much as possible. And it's a note to the Element Masters that have created this brand, this line from them. And it's a, it's a night and day difference from the Element Darkleaf that we've been experiencing over the last year, where I've been rather critical of and very unimpressed by the execution of their Darkleaf, you know, their water and earth lines. Um, overall session uh, performance slash quality, I'm gonna give it a nice four out of five stars all around. Very impressive brand. In fact, so much so that we will be carrying it at hookahunlimited.com. Thank you guys for watching. That's about it. Have a great one. And also, you know, don't forget to 
like the Instagram at hookah UNLTD and you know follow me on uh, follow me there and uh, join the Facebook group hookah unlimited I'd appreciate that deuces all right turn it off more please please turn it off All right, guys, I almost forgot to touch up on the heat management tech techniques. Now, as you guys have seen, I've started this bowl with four coals, uh, four cubes. These are charcoal flare cubes, uh, 25 millimeter ones. And I've lined it up with uh, two in the inside the Lotus and two hanging on the rim of the HMD. Uh, so the trick here is basically as the session progresses and the coals get smaller and smaller and smaller, and at some point, about 40 minutes into it, you're gonna need to ash your coals. When you ash your coals, you're gonna see that there you could fit all four into it. Don't put all four into it at that point. Just keep three of them inside, inside the, the Lotus. And when you do that, you could go ahead and simply put the top on, vents open. Now, this is gonna be a little bit this is not the right time for it because the, the coals are still pretty fresh, but you could imagine them, get, them being about half their size. You'll leave the three in there and put the top on, vents open just like this and continue your session. And between, you could make use of the four coals total for about an hour and 45 minutes, or maybe even two hours uh, before needing additional uh, additional coal or an, an extra set. Uh, hour 45 is where I would kind of, between all four coals before you need a, you need a new, new uh, set of coal. And now other than that, that's about it, guys. I apologize for forgetting to mention that for you. And I hope you catch this last bit of the video before it ends. All right, guys.